Hello and welcome back to Canva for Authors. After my last video, um, someone said, could I do a few more about how to animate your book covers? And yes is the answer, yes I can. So before we get into that, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you are an author who wants to join other like-minded authors talking about Canva and how to do things in Canva, come join the Facebook group. It is Canva for Authors. Just search Canva for Authors or the link is in the description. Right then, let's get going. Okay, custom size 1600 by 2560 again, which is a good size for a Kindle cover. And what I've done in the past is I've asked my publisher to send me the layer file of my book cover. So it's basically, it's all, all of the different layers separated out. So the elements that make up the book cover um, are all separated out. The trouble with that is it, there's no easy way at the moment to import all the different elements into Canva directly. You have to kind of go and save them as separate images and then pull them back into Canva, which is a faff. So I thought I'd show you something that doesn't involving doesn't involve doing that. First, we're going to find your book cover. So I'm going to use this one, which is picture perfect. Okay, so this is all one layer because this was just a JPEG that I've got. So let's see if we can find a font that looks roughly the same as this one. Text. And we need it all to be uppercase, so let's select it. change it all to uppercase. All right. Now then, let's have a look. Something that looks similar. So we need something tall. And tall and sans serif. So let's have a look. Sans serif. So serifs are the little flicky bits you get at the end of things. And this doesn't have any serifs. So we're going for sans serif. All right. And there's quite a lot. Let's have a look, see if we've got something that looks kind of tall. Tall Arabic. No, it's too curved in. That might work. Okay, that one's close enough. It's not exactly the same, but it is close. So now we're going to fiddle around with it to try and get it to be similar. So one of the reasons I wanted to show you this was so that you could see uh, an example of changing letter spacing. Now the letters are too far apart, can you see? So we're going to change the letter spacing so that they are a little bit closer. Let's have a look at that now. That's OK. Let's make it bigger. OK, not terrible. All right, now these two are too far apart in height. So we're going to go for line spacing and reduce that as well. There we go. All right, so that's not perfect, but it will do. So right, so we were going to duplicate this. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Okay, I'm keeping it black so that it's easier to see which one it is. And I'm going to add a rectangle to cover all of the writing. So let's see, we need it to be longer. And deeper. 
Okay. And then we're going to change it to the same pink as the background. Okay. So now what we've done is we've got rid of the letters. Now you may not have a nice plain color in the background. So if you don't have a plain color in the background, the thing that you can do is you can go to you can go to edit photo and magic eraser and erase them now what i'm doing them one letter at a time because I want it to pick up the pink that's in the background. If I did it in one lump, it would pick up some of the yellow as well. So let me show you that. See, it leaves a bit of smudge, but you can just do it again. Or as I say, do it one letter at a time. So there you go. That's another way to get rid of the title if you've got a busier background. Magic Eraser is, I think, a pro thing. So if you're on the free and you're lucky enough to have a plain background, just stick a box over it. Right. Then we are going to move this back up. to there. Let's make it a tiny bit smaller. Maybe not. Okay. And then we're going to change that to the yellow. Okay. So now it looks similar to the original cover, but it's not quite the same. Then we're going to go to animate and you can basically choose how you want it to, to appear. I quite like that one where it types in or that one where it bounces in and you can do it to bounce the whole word in at, at a time or just a character and just on enter there you go and you can add these motion effects on top don't know if you'd want to though, but you know, ooh, no, maybe not that. That's making me seasick now. Okay, <laughs> let's just have that. Okay. So now if you just wanted a very, very simple animation, let's get rid of these. In fact, let's just move this to the top and let's get rid of these extra ones. If you wanted a very, very simple animation where you had your cover and some movement to catch the eye, this would be a way to do it. If you found this video useful, please tell all your friends. And if you make an example, do tag me in, on the social media because uh, I love seeing what you've created. And as I said, please like and subscribe. It really helps me to know that these videos are useful. And if you are an author who wants to talk to other authors who use Canva, come and join us in the Facebook group. The links are in the description. If there's anything you want me to cover, let me know and I will see if I can do it. Thank you for your time.